Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and in the last lesson, we created a category, Tutorials, and uh, then we created a subcategory, Magento Tutorials. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use attributes and why they're important for your products and product types. So wait, let's actually go to Catalog, Attributes, and then we're going to click Manage Attribute Sets. First off, we're going to create an attribute set. Um, and it's going to be for our tutorials. If you notice the ones that we have here are monitors, hard drive, furniture, uh, computer, cell phones. So these are actually the type of products. Well, they very well may be how you have them broken up into your categories. It's not really the same thing. These attribute sets are really um, what distinguishes what kind of attributes each product has. So the attributes might be something like size or color or parts or just something that would be distinguishable from each uh, type of product to the next. So let's create a new attribute set. And this is going to be for tutorials. So we're going to add a new set and we're just going to call this tutorials. Okay, and we can choose what we want to base this off of, but we don't want to base it off of anything. We'll base it off of the default. This will allow you to create a very different, if you want to base it off something, let's say we base it off of uh, shirts, t-shirts, it's going to have all of the same things as t-shirts and then you can change them and add them from there. Um, that's a nice time-saving method in case you have very similar yet different attribute sets to create. So we'll click Save Attribute Set. Okay, we now have our attribute set. Now in this screen, here's the name of our attribute set. If we need to change it, you can just do that right here. Um, groups, these are the attributes that the current attribute set has already assigned. And these are unassigned attributes. The unassigned attributes are ones that have already been created for other attribute sets and are just not being used for this particular one. As you can see, something like hard drive speed, CPU speed, RAM size, shoe size, gender, these things don't apply, but they do apply to t-shirts or computers or whatever. So these were created and then left alone. So after you create an attribute, it's going to show up in this menu, unassigned attributes, and then you can then add it to your attribute set. So by default, our attribute sets are name, SKU, weight, status, tax class ID, URL key, visibility, and now uh, those ones are all things that Magento needs, as well as news from date and news to date and country of manufacturer. These little red marks here mean you can't get rid of these. But let's say these tutorials don't have a color, uh, but this is something that many products do, so they sort of add it in by default. We can actually click and drag this off of here, and we can click and drag this manufacturers off and over to unassigned attributes. Because these tutorials don't have a manufacturer or a color, we're going to remove those from them. Um, and they're just in there because it's the default. So anything that you can see that doesn't have a red uh, little uh, minus sign in a circle next to it um, is something you can remove, like cost. These tutorials are at no cost. They're going to be digital files or whatever. They're just fictional. If you want to have cost in there, um, then you can leave that in there. But these don't have any cost, so I'll be removing that as well. So you can see there's the general categories here too, which we can collapse. So we've already gone through general and it has everything we need right now. We can minimize this and now we can just see what's next. So prices, we don't need to really change anything special with price. You just have price, group price, special price, MSRP. So you can have all this stuff in here. We don't need to change in this right now. Uh, we'll minimize this meta information, uh, meta title, keyword description, perfect. Images, thumbnail, small image gallery. Yep, cool. Uh, design, description. This is all stuff that is normal and stuff we can't remove anyways. So, recurve profile, gift options. When we create a product, I'm going to go through each of these and show you what they do. However, just know that these are ones that you cannot remove from now. And we're just going to click Save Attribute Set. Okay, so now we have our attribute set tutorials under our manage attribute sets. When you create a product, you can now select it to be a tutorials. Uh, however, we want these tutorials to have some specific options. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own attributes and then add them to your attribute set. That way we can get our attribute set all ready for starting to create products. 
If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video below or just hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.